Hi, welcome back to Techstorm and Learning. And this next video is to show you what the WordPress dashboard looks like. Let me just walk you back a bit. In the previous video, I've shown you how to install WordPress on your domain name, and you do that via the cPanel. Once that's done, the next thing then is what you have on this screen, which is this kind of screen that says, welcome to WordPress, which means I have successfully installed WordPress on my domain name, which means my website is now powered by WordPress. Remember, like I said, there are different ways people build websites. WordPress is one of them, and this is what we have here. You would see to the left, there's this little icon that has a house icon. If you click on that, it would automatically take you to the front end side of your site. Okay, like I do have right here. Okay, so this is what my site looks like because I have not uploaded any template on it. This is the demo template. I will go back and here you can see a menu that says update. So this is where you find updates, whether WordPress has a new update because it's a software, remember, which means sometimes you release new updates that you have to update. And if you also have plugins to update, I explained what plugins are. I said plugins are what empower your website to do certain things. And then themes, if your theme also needs an update, you will find the prompt to do that right here. And then posts, what are posts? Posts are articles. So whenever you publish an article on your site, all right, posts are articles, which means whenever you publish an article on your site, it gets added to this list. So this is where you find all your blog posts, anything at all that you've created on your site, you'll find them right here. Okay which means if I want to add a new one, I'll just, I'll show you that during how to build a blog because we'll do more of this in how to build a blog website. And we also have categories, which means you can categorize your post into categories, really. Let's say you run a food blog. There are different sections of food or categories of food. You can write some posts that are talking about fruits some posts can be talking about veggies some posts can be talking about processed food which means those posts are going to be in categories and that's what they are tags are just words you use to tag a post really to tell the reader that this is what this post is about let's say you write an article about faith you can write the word faith there so that it is tagged on that faith also media this is like your library this is where you find all the pictures, videos, PDF files that you've uploaded on your server, so to speak, on your website. And the way you do that is simply click on add new and then you select the files you want to upload. Let's say I want to upload this picture right here. I will just click on open and then it would upload the picture, which means at any point in building my site, I can just select this picture and it would show on my website. You can also use it to upload videos and PDF documents. We will do this in some other ways in the course of this video or the coming videos. Pages. Pages are your web pages, which means when you visit yardacademy.com, that's one page. When you visit yardacademy.com forward slash about, that's a different page. When you visit yardacademy.org forward slash blog, that's a different page. This is where you'll find the list of all the pages on your site. And in case you want to edit any, you simply just come to edit and you'll start editing. If you want to make a quick change, maybe change the title, change something about it, that's done on quick edit maybe the publish date you want to change anything i won't go far into this because we'll still be building pages from scratch and even editing pages from our template comment this is where you find comments about your site maybe you published an article and someone says hi i love this it blessed me you know like you can see here this comment says hi this is a comment to get started with 
this is a demo comment for sure by wordpress but this is what a pro comment will look like and before any comments typically before any comment goes live on your site wordpress would allow you to review it so in case you don't want it you can unapprove as you can see here or you can spam it or you trash it whatever you do so you would always have that right to determine the comments that go on your site and the very important part is appearance Appearance has to do with how your site looks. This is where you determine the color code. This is where you determine the font, the theme, even with the theme. First thing, okay, let me hold on for this to load. The first thing you can do on appearance is to change your WordPress theme. As I explained, there are loads and thousands of WordPress themes out there. And the way it works is if you find a theme you like, you buy it, you download it, or they have some free themes on certain sites, which I do not recommend because some of those themes can sometimes be problematic to your site. All right, this is taking a whole lot of time. Essentially, this is where we'll be uploading our theme from and you can see the different themes we have on the site and This is the active one which is cadence. This is the active theme. You can also customize your site through this So this is where you do things like add the logo to your site choose the color do all form of edits um, I think I'm just gonna remain on this part of the site all right all right okay all right so I was trying to show you what the customized section looks like I said this is also one part of the WordPress back end you can see all the different stuff that we have here things like colors you can choose the color system of the entire site button you know just everything this is where you make a site look customized based on what your client needs and we have plugins here this is where you manage all the plugins on your site you can see some here some are showing activate which means they are not currently active you can turn on and turn off plugins this plugins only only has this site only has about three active plugins because it's a demo template nothing too complex but a typical premium template which means when I say premium I mean templates that you buy from the marketplace they are usually more robust they have different templates and then users this is where you manage the users for your site right now i'm the only one who has access to this site in case you run a company a brand you can add people to manage this site give them a username which is what they will be using to log in so let me say call this yemi two you also need the person's email address and all these ones are option you, you should generate a password for them and then the important part here is you can choose the role that you want this person to have are they a subscriber maybe someone gave you their email you can add them to your list of customers a contributor which means this person would have access to publish articles on your site same thing with an author and editor an editor would have more um, authority over a contributor maybe if a contributor writes your article an editor will have the access to edit the article after and then admin is the super and the highest form of access so when you create such an account for someone and you add user you just need to send them this username and their password to login and they will have access just like you do 
Now, if you granted someone, let's say, author access, they won't be able to make any significant change to how the site looks. They can't wake up tomorrow and say, I want to change the home page image. No, they won't have that access. They will only be able to post and make articles under this section here. And, you know, this is a plugin. This is a plugin, which means the setup of each plugin would always be under them. Essentially, this is what you can do on WordPress dashboard. This is where we'll be doing all the work, moving from section, moving from page to appearance, to menu, and all of that. And if you want to add anything new, you can create a new post, a new media, which means a new image, video, PDF, or a new page, or a new user. This is the end of this module, and this is simply talking about the different things you can do on the WordPress dashboard. So I'll see you in the next module. If you have questions, please do not hesitate. You can either catch me live on our catch up sessions weekly for those who are taking this course within this November 2023 cohort. I'll be meeting with you once every week on Thursdays from 8.45 to 9.15. So you can ask your questions and I can demonstrate things to you. But for those who may take this course, after this cohort still feel free to comment in this section in the comment section and i'll be happy to respond to you thank you once again and have a good time